As you're creating your designs and layouts, it can really help to think about drama and contrast as a way to vastly improve the impact or the visuals of it. Specifically, it's two factors in that are things different enough from one another to be noticeable. So you can think about fonts on top of colors or other spaces. Are, is it legible? Can I read it? Is there enough contrast between them so it's able to be read? And that's very important. But why I like to use the word drama more is it brings about a bigger idea around is there's some other way that I can improve this, make this more impactful, make make some changes so that there is a bigger, um, more dramatic effect when somebody sees this design. So the drama is the overarching idea of is there enough difference between items to matter? Is there enough difference between items, enough contrast so it's legible and easy to see? And is there enough drama so that's big, impactful, and interesting? So let's go through a couple examples and you'll see what I mean. So uh, in the very simple case here, there's not enough contrast. There's not enough drama or difference between the font and the color behind it. So it ends up being very difficult to read. So that's a fairly easy fix. All we're going to do is go into the color of this font and make it darker. Simple enough. Now, the thing I'll say, though, is the text itself compared to the circle, it's just very well contained. It's not that large. Like, it's fairly simple and, you know, not very dramatic. So what could we do to you know increase the drama, make it more interesting, and let's play around. As you'll see uh, in one of my top tricks for playing around with Canva, I highly suggest duplicate and play around. So what can we do to increase the drama, make this more interesting? Uh, well, of course, we could just double or even triple the size of the font. Uh, what if we kind of broke convention and actually had it broke outside of the circle, as opposed to being perfectly quietly contained within it ends up being a little bit more interesting a little bit more dramatic let's uh, go ahead and duplicate again now what if you know we did want to keep it within the circle that was kind of part of the logo so okay let's play around with that idea too now let's bring that line height in i'll click on spacing within that bring it together and we'll make that a little smaller so it fits within Right, bring it to the middle. Now here too, when I'm looking at this, I don't. You can see where the size difference between these two is pretty good, but we can almost make it more dramatic, make a bigger impact, a bigger difference between the main title and the body copy. So that becomes kind of interesting. Uh, but that, that's still contained and almost expected. I wonder if we could go a little bit further. And what if? Um, the circle only really encapsulated a few of the items. So it was a little bit unexpected, a little bit off-centered, uh, not perfectly contained, creating some tension, some drama to it. So what if we did something, you know, kind of like that. It becomes more interesting, there's more drama to it. And you can see the vast difference. So this is where we started from. And even worse, we'd started from a place where the text wasn't even legible on the circle. So immediately we knew we had to fix the contrast, the difference between those two. So we made that dark. But then we started to play around. How can we play with the size and the position, the shape, to make it more interesting, more dynamic, more dramatic? So first blew up the size of the text, had it ex explode out of the circle interesting type of effect. We copied that and tried it again. What happens if we uh, just make it large and still contain it within the circle? What if we kind of subvert expectations and have it just kind of collide with the word on the left side? So you know, interesting way, so just a quick thought, a quick question of is this dramatic enough? What else can we do to it? Now let's, let's take this off further. So here we have text on top of a banner. This is something you'll see all the time with social media posts, with banners for uh, Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn, anywhere else. You'll have a photo that represents what you want and text on top. Now the problem is that the text doesn't have enough contrast, not enough difference between the back. So this is very hard to read. And because the photo itself is kind of uh, busy in the background, even changing the colors is not going to help us that much. So what can we do to alleviate that? So we need to increase the drama, we need to increase the contrast to make it work. So of course we could work on the photo itself. If I click into the photo, I then go to the action bar with filter, or even better adjust, 
we could darken it we could remove some of the color in the saturation you know you can make it even darker so increasing the contrast of the drama that becomes instantly more dramatic that you of course could blur it so the differences of everything is are becoming much more pronounced more dramatic more interesting and definitely more legible at that point however at this point we've lost detail you can't really see the photo so that's that's one actually let me let's redo that and then we'll uh, do a duplicate so we can compare them all at the, at the end. Oops, I actually lost the original, so. There we go, let's make a duplicate of the original. Let's get back to where we were. So we click into the photo, we'll go with adjust. Let's reduce the darkness, reduce the saturation. Make those two white. There we go. Fair, it's different enough from the background, we can read it we've kind of achieved our jobs there. We could also to even further push that out. We could make it blurry in the background. Again, I'm just using the adjust and clicking the photo from the action bar. And now again, it becomes even more dramatic, more of a contrast so we can read it. And one last time, let's start from scratch. Let's say we really wanted to kind of keep the details because the photo was important for conveying a message that we wanted to. So we click it. Um, let's just, so I, I want to remove all the effects that I just applied. So I w clicked into the photo, I clicked adjust in the action bar, and you'll see there's actually this really nice reset, and that gets rid of all of it. So we're back to the original, unfortunately it's not legible. An interesting case in this, and this will work for any use of photos and titles that you want to do if you want to add contrast to make sure that you can read it. All we have to do is add a square, choose a color for that square, and what's great here too is that this is an opportunity to use your brand colors or your logo colors. And we're just going to put it behind the text. So there's that. Now I'm going to, I select the two texts, I go to position. Uh, it's not letting me bring it to front together when I selected it. No, uh, not there either, interestingly. There we go. For some reason I had to actually drag it since it wasn't colliding it wasn't letting me uh, drag it to front if that happens to you another uh, trick is select it control x copy it and then control v paste that's going to paste it back on top of it for you so just another kind of quick trip trick around that okay so one of the options uh, simply enough you could just put a color behind the text now i can read it so that looks great not bad interesting now let's duplicate that. Now, if you want to even bring out more of the photo, not again, like not lose details, I still t type of still see it, but not lose the contrast that we've just gained. Add a bit of transparency to that color, and now we can just see directly through it. So we have the contrast; it's highly legible, but we can still see, for instance, the entire coffee cup. That's an interesting take on it. Another one that works really well and really punches up the color, you'll see this often on websites, is if you took that same color and just blow it out and cross the entire entire background, then you can play around with how much or how colorful it actually is. Again, an opportunity to increase the contrast so you can read it and also use your brand colors. And lastly, consider playing around with the format and the space. So have things kind of broken up and consider having Things kind of broken in half. What I mean by that is, let's take this photo. Uh, now this photo, this current photo is snapped into the back and there's no way to really get it out. So you need to refind it. I don't know if I'll be able to find the same photo to use. Uh, so let's just go ahead with this one. So I'm gonna remove the background photo. Take this photo, we're gonna have it take up about halfway. Now the same thing we learned from before, you could of course leave the text like that. Um, I, I think you can make an argument for having that that actually has a decent amount of drama given how much blank space is around it. That kind of becomes interesting. So that could certainly be considered dramatic. However, we could also you know, use the same concepts we had from the previous one, really increase the size. And at this point, at that point, it starts to become more about 
your design aesthetic, like what you want to kind of convey and show. But again, you can see it's big, bold, interesting. And if you're really interested in using that brand color, there's still no reason why you couldn't color half of it. So you see a little bit of playing around, a little playing with the format and the sizing of it. We had started with a banner with some text where we could he could not read it. Had a nice photo, text on top, not legible. So we tried just reducing the color and the darkness in the background. Creates a dramatic effect, but also really increases the contrast and legibility. Uh, we tried blurring it, which made it even more legible, although we lost some of the cool detail of the photo. So brought forth a colored bar, which makes it kind of interesting. Uh, to still keep in some of the details, we made that bar transparent so we could see right through it, keep some of the details, blow that out, have it take the whole size. So it's a big, beautiful colored banner, very bold, very beautiful. And in fact, what if you played with the format and had it only take up half the screen? So that way your text could really be crisp and then it's two halves looking great. So as a last thing, two more examples really quick to kind of keep driving this home because uh, more than just the concept of drama, it's, it's kind of nice to see how you could apply it in your own work, be it ads, banners, Instagram posts, whatever else. So in this case here, it's a fairly simple bit of text. So we got great looking bread on the right and the text. The text, the title is fairly good compared to the body text. It almost looks at, at least more than double and that's wonderful. But it all feels fairly plain and boring. So let's use some of those same ideas before. What can we do with spacing, sizing, everything else to add some drama, to increase the drama of it. So let's go ahead and what if we made the the words much larger and again there'll be uh i'll have us wondering what would it look like if we really made it large so we'll have that kind of go there there we are Let's move that around, go into the photos. Okay, and immediately you can see like how much more grabbing that is, how much notable. And especially with that being the main title, like that's a great thing to kind of call out. Like this is about bread, this is what it's looking like. So excellent, great start. Now what if we duplicate that? And what if this photo, so I'd say there's a couple ways to do it. So obviously we can go right back to the taking up half and I think that'd look great. I'm kind of curious about what if we went in a different direction? What if instead we actually kind of subverted that expectation and made it narrow and not really take up the right amount of size? And this is where going for inspiration, finding, go to great sites by hands and dribble and seeing what other people are doing with their designs can be really helpful because it'll show some really fascinating ideas that, of what people are doing. So that's kind of interesting. It takes up the entire space there, the top the bottom. Um, that's just for completionist sake, kind of see what it would look like if it was taking up just half the size. So I double click into the image because I wanted to move it. So again, a bit more of a basic design if you would on that side. But trying to get slightly creative with that one. You could also consider, oops, let's see. You know, subverting uh, create a bit of drama and tension, subverting expectations about where the photo would go, not having it equal or even necessarily. You'll see obviously there's an alignment thing that we've covered, but um, if you can play within it and know that it'll look good, you can certainly play around. But I think I'll bring it back to where it was. Great. So, so again, we started with something that was not too bad as far as like fonts, good sizes, nice image, well spaced, but what can we do to increase the drama, make it more impactful, more interesting. And we tried out a few different scenarios with that. So lastly, we'll then kind of just do a last post here with an object as well. And this one I wanted to show a changing of the position and how much that can have an effect and in two ways. So we have the phone and then we have the title and subtitle. Now the first thing we'll say is that there's not much drama, there's not much contrast between the title font here and the sub font. You know, they look very much the same, uh, just one, two, one's bold, one's not. Kind of boring. So 
we should really look to make enough of a difference, enough of a contrast, enough drama to matter. And that might seem subtle, but check out the sort of difference where that looks fairly flat, almost boring, and this all of a sudden creates that interesting tension, the sense of hierarchy. Really interesting. Now location is just flat and centered. You know, what if we were to play around with, you know, let's go the other direction. What if it was so small people had to pay attention to it and use negative space, so it's a big, open, dramatic space to call out that particular sentence. Again, that becomes a bit more interesting. So despite this, the fact that this is bigger, but because it's the same looking style text and it's just in the middle, not very impactful, as opposed to, you know, what what is that the confidence of having that tiny text, the drama of having it. So that's kind of interesting. Now let's take that another direction. Uh, what can we do with a photo to make that interesting? So let's say we increase that a bit. So it's a photo, it's squared up, it's just placed within it. But what if we were we were to use the idea of drama, creating some tension, creating some interest. And let's have this thing like bound off the page, you know, get cropped off, be so large, have it on an angle as to wonder where it is. So it's giving us some unique, interesting angles. And again, kind of placing, deciding like where the rest of it's going to be placed. Now here I kind of like these, um, just the rounded corners there, uh, cutting in on each side to really drive home that it's a phone. So that one's kind of interesting. And kind of keep it a little bit below, like what we came up with here. So you can see that the drama of like there's all this negative space, but it's still rigid and solid, which is good. That that's an interesting type of look. But now we've blown that out. It's large. It's bolder. It's it's slightly askew. So we're wondering what it is. It's dramatic. So a great thing to kind of play around with as far as enlargening, um, skewing, tilting. What else could we do? And of course, because we have infinite boards, we can keep experimenting. What if it was taken even further? So the only thing is, what I'd like to see is, I want to get that coffee cup in if I'm going to make it this large, just because that's a visual point of interest in the phone itself. So I'll take that to another extreme and just make it even larger. So, big, interesting, using the edges, cropping it, making it dramatic. So I hope you can see there's a real opportunity in every time you create a design to make it better by simply asking, can I make this more dramatic? And from a practical standpoint, it's contrast. Is it legible? Is everything different enough as far as the sizes of the text to matter? You know, if you have two text sizes that are exactly the same, they might as well be the same. So is it different enough? Is it enough contrast? Is it legible? And then from a more interesting visual standpoint, is it dramatic? Can I pump this up a little bit more? Is there a layout? Is there a color? Is there a size that I can change that's going to make this really stand out? And this is where duplicating your screens and playing around will really help because it'll give you a bit of freedom to play and touch and just kind of see which one stands out the most. So give it a shot. Just ask yourself, can you make it more dramatic and see what results you get. See you in the next lesson.